<laughs> I just realized in my camera that says bro, bro. Hi everybody. Good to see you. Hi, um, Adam Savage here in my cave with some more crown jewel madness. Uh, over the last couple of years, I have replicated many of the crown jewels, the scepter, the crown twice. Uh, I managed to pick up a beautiful uh, King George III costume uh, and make it even more accurate and fun. I have four inch lifts for it. I'm like seven and a half feet tall wearing it. It's spectacular. Today we're dealing with the ugliest of the crown jewels, the orb, otherwise known as a cruciger, C-R-U-C-I-G-E-R. -E a cruciger has really, really old connotations, like back to like, I think the third century AD. Um, this is part of the uh, inauguration not the inauguration, the inoculation. It's not the inoculation, the coronation. This is part of the coronation. This, the, the regent holds this. And its symbology is, you're like, I wonder what the symbology is. And the moment I tell you, you're gonna be like, I feel a little dumb. Cause that's what happened to my brain. The symbology is, it symbolizes God's dominion over the earth in the king's hand. That is, woo, really? Okay, sure. If you think that's the split, then go right ahead with your religion. That's fine that the king is over God in this. It just, it just seems kind of surprising to me, that's all. But I mean, I know he's the head of the church in England and every. None of this is within my area of expertise. So please forgive any and all facts that I have wrong here, except the fact that this is without a doubt the least attractive of all of the crown jewels. I mean, it looks sort of like a parody of itself. Everyone that walks in goes, you're making a holy hand grenade because the prop for Money in Python, which is really close to this, looks ludicrous. It's fine. It's fine. It looks great. I'm really happy with this, but I've always felt that it was incomplete. I've always felt that it needed a little more something, something. And so I'm going to give it a cushion. It should have a cushion that it displays on. And I like that because it's actually hard to put down. Um, and in fact, uh, this has been damaged because it's hard to put down. I have damaged it. It was me. Hi, it's me. I'm the problem. It's me. But there's one other addition that I'm going to make to this. This occurred to me months ago. This has been sitting on my bench. I'm, this is why I'm clearing my books today. What I wanted to do was um, give this a secret function. And in giving it a secret function... Come on, there we go. In giving it a secret function, uh, I left its top removable. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I know, it's really kind of cool. I left the top open, and what I am going to do is I'm gonna make this a dispenser. So I'm gonna have it be that you lift it up and it dispenses something. What will it dispense you at? Cigarettes with music. I'm going to take whatever's in here and I'm going to put it in here so that when you lift this up, it plays music and gives you cigarettes. There's... I just want to say this, right? Like, this dispensing things that kill you makes sense to me humorously. I like the idea of the crown jewels being a dispenser of cancer sticks. I have no problem with the royals themselves. I am sure they're all trying to be the best people they can be. The idea of it as a whole is horrifying. Of course, there's so much blood on this thing. Right? It's just the fact of, of being a leader at that scale, right? It's just... Probably a fact. Uh, at any rate, my opinions about the royal family don't matter in this build, only, only my sense of humor. So I'm gonna make a cushion for this and I'm gonna take the mechanics out of this and fit them into here and I'm going to make a, uh, I'm going to finish my orb because just like this where you can't quite put it down and you can't quite like, yeah. It's got, it's got, a, yeah. I know, I'm bouncing all over the place. You should sound hear what it sounds like in here. This is fun. I didn't just find a lighter. I found a little, I found the ashtray. 
That's gonna be fun. This is great. What? 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 This is so cool. I'm like looking at this thing and I'm like, I got it because it's blingy, right? It sparkles. I think that when any member of the royal family goes to their royal jeweler and asks what they want, they say, I want sparkles. I'm sure they'll say it just like that. Sparkles. Um, I bought this because it's got sparkles. And I was like looking at it and I see, I'm like, where does it light from? There's the USB port. There's probably a hard reset port, but there's no other, there's no other. Yeah, that's what, that's the hint. I, there's like no feature. There's no bump, bump, bump. And then I yanked it and I pulled it aside. And what I saw was, there we go. Oh, it gets red hot. That's cool. Smokeless red hot cigarette lighter. That is just the kind of elegance that I think this sort of thing really requires. So, um, let's, uh, yeah, let's take this thing apart and see what we can do with it. Oh, there's one. There we go. Nice. That was easy. Okay. It's like Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer too. I can feel my mantle. Oh, that was it? That's all that they had to stop it? That's so sweet. Great. It's a standard music box. <clears throat> oh! No! Oh, are you kidding me? That didn't just do that, did it? Okay. Well, now I know how it works. Oh, it's a spring and a thing. Ah, there's the spring, there's the thing! Huh. Okay, cool. Now I understand how it works. This. Oh, thank God. Okay. Okay, so I would like to separate this from that. I think they are separate. Oh, okay, so this keeps coming out. Oh, nice. Okay. And then this is simply. Uh huh. Okay. There are all the things. What I want. I want it. What I want, okay, that is, I think, soldered in there. I want to repair this before I figure out how it's going together. That's completely re-wetted and re-soldered. I'm very happy. That's great. We have operation again. Ladies and gentlemen, we have operation again. That's great. And so now I'm going to put operation back in here. Can I go deeper than that? Hold on. Okay. So next stage for this is for me to work out what, uh, how this mounts down here and what goes in here. <laughs> I found it! I found what I wanted! This, a piece of the Great, good, good, goodness, great. So I do end up with a globe. Nice, that can come in handy later.
put This is starting to shape up to something. So we can, oh, we can't, we can, we can't, we can, we can't. Okay, so I need this bolt. That's uh, an 832. Yep. And then that goes in there. Oh, could it be a 1032? Oh, it's a 10. Oh, there we go. All right, we'll have to make that look prettier somehow, somewhere. Oh, okay, I see why that's not. This has been a thing, but I think I understand the structure now. I think I understand how this all goes together. Oh, you can really see how out of alignment it is. All right, but that's fine. That's fine. Um, Last thing today is I will uh, I will put it on here and you'll get to watch it all close up. So what I'm going to have here, what I'm going to end up with is on the underside, I'm going to make a little tiny, uh, just a little tiny puck out of plastic that this will sit on. You'll never see it unless we're serving it, etc. It's going to come out of the and that will actually go to a thing inside, which will capture the bottom of this and allow this to be effectively assembled, but it can still be pulled apart. So when you put it back together, it should look a little something like this. There it is. Yeah, I've got to 
kind of give it a little bit of a sweet spot there. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I can see it. I can see it. We're getting there. Lots of little things to get right still. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to leave this. I'm going to go home. Ooh, that fell out. I've got more. Okay. Um, parts of the... Good morning, by the way. It's the next morning. I am still working on my... Working on the crown. I'm very happy with it. Uh, sorry, with the orb. I'm still working on the mechanics for the orb, but they're going really well. And I have some solid ideas and clarities about the structure of this thing. Part of me had wanted to keep the whole orb sacrosanct and like have it just be completely self-contained. But I'm realizing that, um, one, I feel like I could put some lighting into this bowl that would be really neat looking. And two, uh, I need the ability to wind my music box and also have it mounted in here in a way. So all this is by way of saying that I think that this orb will live on its pillow. That's what I think. And then in the pillow, I will have a battery the ability to have the lights and there'll be, uh, uh, I'm gonna install the music box on the side here so that, uh, so that it can play. So let's do that, let's do that. We're gonna install the music box and we're gonna figure out how to make it go on and off. That'll be a thing, won't it? Oh, maybe. Ah, so what is the reverse? Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so. So the reverse is, it's a green between two reds on either side. So there's a hero side and a back side. And I think, yeah, it could be. So this is, that's one way. A green between two reds, that's another way. A nice little unassuming little mark there. So uh, I just found out that the little screws that hold the music box in are not 440 screws, they're 540s. And frankly, that is the first time I've come across a 540. That's a number five screw with 40 threads per inch. I have 540s in my stock. It's the first time I've come across a 540 in the wild in my life. Oh, I see you've got the dominion of God and the world in your hand. Would you like a smoke? <laughs> uh, so the form factor has been achieved. The cruciger now has a surprise inside. And might I say, I think this might be one of the best crucigers ever built. Like, come on, really? Um, so now the question is how to display. And I think that is going to, I, I left this really long so that I can assemble and disassemble. This entire thing is mechanical. There's no glue going on. Uh, so now the question is, the pillow, the pillow, the pillow. 
I was thinking before that you'd lift this up in the 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 ashtray, the print, the Union Jack ashtray would be underneath, but I don't think so anymore. I think this will be mounted to the pillow, so you're holding the pillow. Let me wrap my head around the pillow. We may we may be moving over to the sewing machine, boy wonder. All right, so I've got a. Here's the next mechanical challenge. The next mechanical challenge is you see the little, um, the, that little governor, the little air governor. I've got to be able to make a little stick spring that touches that when the cruciger is down and not when it's up. So I have marked out X, Y, and Z, this hole and this level, and I'm going to actually try and mill a little slot in the side here that allows me to kind of make a little lever arrangement. We will see if I can achieve this. This is, this is gonna be a tricky little bit of engineering. Let's see here. So, yeah, I'm just gonna try and mill a little slot here. Actually, What I might have gotten from here is, yeah, see that? That's it, that's the activating right there. See that little, that right there. I want that last little bit, that last little bit. can work. All right. So then what I want is this. I want Here's how this works. That goes down. Now, if I got this right, that should play the music and that should stop the music. That should play, that should stop. There we go. Now we're going to try it. And that goes there. Okay. <laughs> Music is good. So just to be clear, all I did was I used a single piece of I used a single piece of wire to create a kind of a long spring that basically just sits down and hits the air governor of the music box. Now I want to do lights. All right, here we go. I think I'm going to mill a flat on this and attach this to that. And I think that ought to give me, oh, is that actually not going to give me? Wait. So I've cut away more of this meat. I still get the activation out of my spring. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, no, no. Got to, uh, got to adjust a little bit.
great. That doesn't get caught. And now I want to know how to get this guy here. Okay, I need to add in a little, a little nubbin in here. Everything is, seems to be going pretty well. Yep, yep, yep. So then this guy lives here. Right. Oh, I'm gonna have to glue that. Yeah, that's fine though. I can glue that. So that's gonna be the trick, is that when this comes in, it hits that switch. I'm not gonna glue it, I'm gonna mechanically connect it. Because, 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 because of the wonderful things he does. Da -da 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 -da. That's attached and it's still great, still great. And this goes to here, right? And attaches that way, great. And then these guys, God, it's finally time to drill these puppies. Now I have the mechanics that, um, that, that turns off both the music box. Ah, oh. oh, there we go. Yep, there we go. Uh, oh, right, more lights. Fantastic. We got all the systems going. Uh, almost. So the question then remains. Oh, fantastic. We have all the systems going now. Electrics are working. So are mechanics. We are almost at a systems check here. I'm going to plug in, turn on. And when I lift this, this should go on and the music should start. And it does. Amazing. Okay, so now we're going to... <laughs> oh! It exceeds my wildest dreams.
Okay. Now it's about the cushion. So we've got that going and I need a cushion. Uh, yeah, we'll put that there. I think this will be a base. Uh, I think what we're gonna do here is, so then that can go in there and yes, so we can do that. I'm uh, making the keeper on the center of the cushion because I'm going to staple the cushion in place, but I am going to, um, so this is how this is going to go. That's going to come down here like this. And then that's going to come down there like that on there. All right, that is a nice. There we go. That's nice and positive. And I can. Uh, oh, you know what? Let's do a systems check. Why not? Just to make sure that the batteries work, that everything's functioning as I want it to. Better, better, better. Great, great, good. All right, get a little more up in there. If I mess this up, I gotta redo the whole, the red fabric. That's for sure. So let's not mess this up. What do you say? What do you say? Just for old times sake. Good, all right, here we go. Last bit. Oh, whoops. The thing is, it's not done until there's cigarettes in it. I will admit to you, I used to smoke. I smoked on and off for 20 years. Uh, 
from my late teens to my late 30s, on and off. I stopped... Uh, Eighteen years ago, seventeen years ago. Anyway, this is what I smoked back then. All right, there we go. <laughs> oh god, I'm so glad it clears. I was terrified that these wouldn't. I'm so sorry. I yanked on your cord. It's like when you step on your pet's leash while walking. You don't smoke, by the way. It'd be great if you were around for a long time. I don't have any secret to how I quit smoking. I got bronchitis and it was easy. I had spent the previous couple of years thinking about every cigarette, but you know, everyone has their kind of own path to that. I forgot that this holds an even 20. Wait, why can't you open? There you go. Oh, I see. <laughs> My cross is real off center. I think I might have dropped it. I think I might have dropped it on its head. There we go. To put the battery in. What should happen now is that when I lift this, the light should come on and the cigarettes should splay out. Let's see. Oh, amazing. Oh, great. Gotta wind it. We gotta get the whole effect. You ready? I am so happy with this. Uh, you guys, thanks for your patience with me. This took longer than I... Oh! <laughs> it's fantastic. I'm so, I'm so freaking happy. Ooh! Thank you so much for watching that video. Your support allows us to make more of this great content. If you'd like to help us on a deeper level even, head over to tested-store.com because we've got stickers. Who doesn't love stickers? Our anime-inspired tested logo in Japanese. Follow the process, not the plan. It's not a process. It's not a problem to solve. It's a process to manage other aphorisms that have come from my mouth. Um, and we have just made a full set of our demerit badges in sticker form. So you can cover your toolbox with all of your screw-ups and celebrate it with other makers. Thank you guys so much. See you next time.